Mammograms are an important part of every woman's preventive health care. My name is Dr. Gloria Bachman, and as an obstetrician gynecologist, I've had the honor of taking care of women and their breast health for several decades. Medical recommendations change over time because of new scientific evidence that becomes available through research. After 32 years, the American Cancer Society has changed the recommendations regarding when women should start having mammograms and, for women over the age of 55, how often they should be having them. In the past, women started having mammograms at age 40. The new age to start having a mammogram is age 45. The American Cancer Society also recommends that once a woman reaches the age of 55 years and has no risk factors for breast cancer, has mammograms every two years rather than every one year. The new guidelines are geared for women of average breast cancer risk, meaning they themselves do not have a personal history of breast cancer, have a family history of breast cancer, or have any other risk factors for breast cancer. For women of higher risk, they should discuss with their doctor when they should start having mammograms and how often they should be getting them. Many women come to me expressing concern and confusion about the new guidelines. One of the drawbacks of frequent testing are false positives, meaning that over a 10-year period, a woman has a 61% chance of having erroneous results. And until they're told that it was a false positive mammogram and that they do not have cancer, it's truly an emotional roller coaster for them. For women who question whether they were doing the right thing by following the old guidelines, I reassure them that new data, new scientific evidence is coming out all the time. And yes, they were doing the right thing, but science does change, medicine does change over time. I'm hoping that these guidelines empower women to talk about breast health and to give them the opportunity to talk about their own personal health with their physician and what's best for them.